yeah, bitch. Real. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It might be talking about something in here. Okay, daddies. I don't. I like to. I like to drag this thing. I don't. I don't like the other thing. Now. Everybody name mama know. <laughs> Barely tell my hoe. Everybody ain't want to know that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Everybody knows that Burlington and me, we been in a long, long, long relationship. We've been very loyal to each other. I've only, we've only cheated on each other for. We've only cheated on each other like once or twice. And it was me. I'm, I'm the problem. <laughs> okay. I don't know what it is, y'all, about just like cheap shit that has some type of quality to it that's still just like that just like ruffles my feathers you know what I'm saying it just makes me so like you know what I'm saying it just makes me feel better oh this is a fetch ass juicy couture purse oh this is fetch as shit oh that's fetch but I don't need any more I don't need any more What's the word for it? What is this? Deodorant? Yeah, this is anti perspirant. Okay. But I don't need any more purses, y'all. I feel like if I buy any more purses, I'm gonna like, my, my bag's gonna break. <laughs> no lie. <laughs> my bag's gonna break. Okay, y'all. So I, y'all can help me out with this. Let me see. Me and my mans, we have two totally different hair types. My hair is one. It's, it's low porosity. Basically, like, shit just sinks into my hair and will sit there and stay. Like, my hair is a sponge, a literal live sponge. As far as for him, his hair, shit just sits on top. So we've both been trying to, like, come up with something to where we can, like, figure out how to, like, handle his hair. Because I just don't know how to handle his hair because my hair is, like I said, is a little bit different. So I'm like, you know what? Let's try something else and... I think what I'm gonna start doing on him is like moisture mask so that that if you have high porosity hair, help me out. It's not the gray of hair that's killing me because bitch, I deal with, you know, 3 c and up hair all the time. Bitch, my hair is that anyways. Let me see what this texture is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell by the texture that it's like, that shit gonna get in there. He needs something that's gonna get in there. Ooh, see this might be it though. Cause this this is the the Jamaican black castor oil strength strength strengthen and restore treatment mask. But this one is the deep moisture mask. Shit, this cheaper. Y'all hear the song? Bitch, my own reflection fucked me up. This says for extra dry hair and scalp. This is my nigga, <laughs> baby. He need every, he need every inch of any inch with that shit. He just don't take care of it. His hair, he has really good hair. Like y'all see his mama's hair. His mama's hair is so pretty. He just don't take care of his shit. So I'm like, bitch, I'm gonna take care of it. What's up, y'all? So, okay, so this is gonna be like a quick little short little segment where we just sit and chit chat. Y'all know how I do. So today, we're gonna be talking about finding what you love to do, right? Cause I noticed a lot of people just ask me like, hey, Coffee, how'd you get into, what did you get into? How are you where you're at right now? And how do you like know what to like strive for next? And that's honestly an easy question for me because baby, since I was little, I knew, I knew who the hell I was and I knew who the hell I'm gonna be. So it's like, I always <laughs> knew just kind of how to like, you know, go, go with life so that I'm doing exactly like what I want to do to get me to where I'm gonna be you know I, I literally tell y'all all the time I'm going to be an international pop star may not be today may not be tomorrow may not be the next spot I don't give a fuck I'm going to be an international pop star like you're gonna see all of my talents across all you know y'all get it okay but the way main main way for you to find what you love to do or you know just find what you want to do is do what you love to do right and I think a lot of people tie money into the play and think that like, oh, well, you know, like I want to be I want to make like 
crocheted blankets for a living but what money is in that you know and i always say that money everybody's always talking about chase the bag chase the bag no money comes and finds you whatever you love to do i promise you your life is going to shape it to where it's like you can do what you love to do and still make a, a highly profitable living off of it like literally i want you to wake up and literally be like what do i want to do do i want to go eat breakfast or do i want to like i don't know shit anything whatever you wake up on your first of your mind do it because that's honestly literally what is going to lead to the next thing and then the next thing and then there's this thing in life's called synchronicities right so got up that morning you said i want to eat some eggs okay when you went and you picked out the carton out the refrigerator put the carton on the table you got the tv on you cooking your eggs you notice this ad that comes across that's like hey we need people who know how to crochet. Da, 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 da. And if you didn't get up to go eat that egg, to then turn around and look at the TV at a specific time that you look at the TV, you wouldn't even have known that there was a whole opportunity for crocheting when you know you want to be this master crocheter. That's literally how synchronicities work. So like my main advice to people literally is like, go with always like your highest passion, like your first, your first what you want to do, do it. Because I feel like that always leads to the next, like what you want to do to the next, into the next, into the next. And then eventually, you're literally just going to be living the life that's yours. Like, everything that you do, you're going to see, like, it's going to add up to being exactly, like, what you want it to be. It's called divine timing, basically. Hop on divine timing. Start being divine. Start being super, super, super adamant about yourself. Start being selfish. Wake up with what you need to do for the day and not your nigga or your girl or your mama or your daddy. Like, literally become selfish because can't nobody make your life yours except you can nobody make your dreams come true but you so you got to start a minute to yourself and the way you do that is just acting off your highest passion at all fucking times like when i say at all the times y'all i mean like literally 24 7 all day long act off your highest passion even down to the littlest shit of like do i want to drink a blue gatorade or a red gatorade do what you want to do because the synchronicities that line up with what you want to do is going to bring forth more shit that you want to do does that make sense so that's just my quick little debrief about how you can start chasing your dreams without necessarily having a pinpoint of like what your dream is but just doing what you love to do and doing what you want to do so it can like just add up to being your life and everything will just play its part you know Bye, my camera battery's dying. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna see you on tomorrow's vlog. Love you, bye. Miss Babiana.